All right, guys, we got a 2010 Infiniti QX56. Uh, we've got a, a message here with a uh, no key message there on the instrument cluster you can see. It says no key. All right, so we're gonna need to register some keys. So we're gonna use the uh, that new launch diag gun four that I got. Um, so we can go straight into special functions and then there's a immobilizer section by itself. So we're gonna go in there. I haven't used this yet, so this will be the first time for me. So we'll see what it's got capability of. I've got my laptop booted up over here. I've got the uh, Nissan Infinity website up, ready to purchase a uh, pin code of my LSID if I need to. So it says use the upgraded software in case that you agree to the following agreements. Uh, so it's just a generic thing there. It's got a function introduction setting, anti-theft matching. So it goes, I guess it's got some information in there for you. I'm pretty familiar with the systems that are on these cars. It says switch on the ignition. So I've got a key here that's not registered to the car. So we're going to put the mechanical key. That slides out the back here, actually. I guess I will to show you that. Uh, push the switch over there, slide out. When you purchase these keys, make sure you purchase one that's the same uh, manufacturer as the original equipment. This one is, um, I believe, Continental. Yeah, it says Continental right there. Can't hardly see it. Anyways, um, so the key's already cut. Uh, we cut it to the code on the uh, from the original key tag. So we'll slide that in the slot that's on the inside of the lock cylinder so we can turn it and we get we still get the red theft key at the top so the I'm gonna go ahead and just superimpose the image onto the screen for you so it'll be easier for you to read so it says switch on ignition we'll press OK it read the VIN okay we're gonna go to immobilizer key programming and then we have, so I need to get the five digit code, pen codes. Should be able to give me the five digit code out of the BCM so I can put it on the website. Let's see, five digit, holy crap. So it gives me the pen codes. Um, so there's the five digit code, F5EB2, and then the two pen codes, old and new, 9076 and 9892. Now it says before and after 2010, but I actually think 07 was the cutoff for this NAT system. So it's really pre or post 010. So you can see there, the, the we're gonna be using the new password 9892, at least we should. This is a late 2010 model. Um, okay, wow. So this actually like decoded the pin code for me. So I don't have to purchase it with my LSID. So that saves me a little bit of money actually. So if you didn't have a mechanical um, key, you could go into steering lock release. Uh, but we're gonna go to smart key because, I mean, this is technically an intelligent key, but I guess they're calling it a smart key. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do, let's just do automatic scan and see if it'll figure it out. So rotary or button, so the, the type of ignition, like in 2011, they went to push button starts. So this is a rotary, it's got the little knob that turns. So we'll select rotary. Uh, and then we'll select smart key. I guess we're going to keep going with the smarter. Okay, so insert ignition key, ignition key cylinder, insert intelligent key in the slot. This model doesn't have the slot down on the dash piece. So we'll select OK. We'll go to register I key. Mode 17. Okay, that seems to be the correct event. Insert the mechanical key, turn ignition on. Okay. It says erased, completed. All right, so you can see that the memory number one is unregistered, so we'll select it and we'll click continue. Let's press an I key within the antenna inside of the detection. So I'll press the button on the key. All right, it says one intelligent key has been registered. Insert the next registered ignition key into the ignition lock cylinder. So we'll take that key out, put the key back in. We'll grab the other I key, take that, put that into the lock cylinder. We'll turn it on, 
press OK. We'll select the next memory tube bank and highlight it. We'll press continue. This is a lot like other tools that I've used. It says now press the I keys button within the inside the antenna. Pressed it. Two intelligent key has been registered. Insert next key into the ignition cylinder. So we'll press OK. And memory two turned to registered. So we will turn that off, pull the mechanical key out, install the mechanical key back into the switch, and we'll see if. All right, no key message on the dash, no key on the other side. All right, success. Wow. So that's the launch X431 Diagon 4. Um, this thing is. This is fantastic. Um, so we'll go ahead and. All right, yeah, so we got to jump out, make sure that both these keys will uh, unlock the proximity um, or will unlock itself using the button on the outside of the door handle with the proximity antenna. But um, man, it, this thing starts and we've got no nothing else I could tell from here that the problem, the unlock works on that antenna. The unlock works on that one as well. So the antenna is picking up both remotes. Um, we're good to go guys. This is uh that's great. So remember to like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you guys next time and uh, let me know in the comments down below what you liked about the video or what you didn't like.